Wow, this sword looks so real. Oh no, orcs and goblins nearby. For anyone wanting to get into the VR world right now, there's probably no better device than the MetaQuest 3 that I have here, if you don't want to break the bank that is. So I had this device for about a week and a half and here are my honest opinions about it and whether you should actually spend half a grand on it. Let's get started. We'll start with the unboxing experience and honestly I find it bloody impressive. You're getting your headset, two controllers with their batteries included and your charger with a USB Type-C cable. Now I have owned the previous Meta Quest 2 and I can tell you that the Meta has improved the design 10 times compared to their previous model and made the new Quest 3 a lot more comfortable despite being the same chunky boy at around half a kilogram. When it comes to the build quality it's pretty solid overall. You've got your USB port on one of the sides and a 3.5mm jack on the other if you'd like to connect any headphones. Even though I really believe that the built-in speakers do the job just fine, they are loud and clear and definitely better than the one that the Quest 2 had to offer. There are two RGB cameras on the front which is already an upgrade from the previous Quest 2 which offered only a black and white cameras. And there are also many additional sensors for a more accurate tracking. Now Meta recently announced that they are gonna be having a huge update regarding the tracking functionality and we are about to see some full body tracking very very soon on this device so I am very excited for that. The volume control buttons are next to the pupillary distance knob which is super convenient in my opinion but uh, what really sold me to this headset is how much more comfortable it is compared to its predecessor. The weight is just balanced equally on your head which is a really good thing because with the old Quest 2 uh, it was really unbalanced and I really didn't like that, especially for long gaming sessions. And another great thing is the upgraded controllers which don't have the massive rings around them and I really really like that. You have no idea how many times I bumped these controllers everywhere while I was playing a game. Now before we continue I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video Fast Comet. Now Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now let's get back into the video. But enough of that, what can you actually see inside of this big boy here? Well, once you put the headset on, you'll be greeted by two displays, each with a resolution of uh, 2064 by 202008 pixels, with a maximum of 120Hz refresh rate, which is awesome and way better than what the Meta Quest 2 had to offer. The field of view is 110 degrees, which allows for great immersion and a lot better than the Quest 2's 90 degrees, which felt like a fishbowl. One of the coolest things is that the headset automatically scans your surroundings and creates a guardian so that you don't bump into things uh, in real life. This MetaQuest 3 is powered by the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 and honestly they have proven to be the best. I'm a big fan of Snapdragon CPUs not only for these headsets but also for the phones and this one doesn't disappoint. It has doubled the performance of the previous Quest 2 and everything is snappy without any delay when you switch through the menus. So that and the fact that there are not many games which can push this CPU to its maximum, it's definitely future proofing you, so I'm looking forward to what can be done with this headset in the near future. The UI is not one of the best I've seen and sometimes I'm struggling to navigate through the menus quick enough, however Meta has recently announced a complete UI overhaul which promises to make things much better and I really hope it will be something similar to the Apple Vision Pro, but for now you, you will be struggling when it comes to pressing these buttons or typing with your hands and it honestly feels like I have the coordination of a 5 year old. But put that aside and controlling this uh, headset with your actual hands and fingers actually feels kind kinda nice and Meta can only improve it with future updates so let's see. The Meta Quest 3 comes in two variants, one is with 128GB of storage and the other is with 512 Now considering the games are not the biggest in size I doubt that you will ever need or fill up these 512GB so the 128 should be plenty for you. While the two displays are a great improvement over the single display that the Quest 2 had to offer, there aren't many games that will take full advantage of them just yet. 
Of course in time many new games will come out and many older ones are currently having their graphics updated so this headset will be worth it a lot a lot more in the future and guys if you are enjoying this video so far then don't be afraid to poke that like or subscribe buttons they definitely don't bite now let's get back into the video but speaking about gaming i have tested some games and here i should say that the titles available on the quest 3 itself are pretty limited surprise surprise and while there are plenty of great games you can play most of them are not free and it's surely better to just hook up this vr to your gaming pc in case you have one and enjoy a much better experience with titles like Half-Life Alex or Phasmophobia. There is also Skyrim in VR which is super fun. But uh, more on that later, I'm gonna make a separate video covering some of the great games that you can play on this VR. And when it comes to the games that are already offered from the Quest Store, well, there are some pretty nice titles like Asgard's Wrath 2, which usually costs 60 euros, but if you buy the Meta Quest 3, it will be practically free, so you can play this awesome game. And there are some good news for those of you that want some free options, so if you'd like to fiddle a little bit with your Quest 3, you can actually get yourself an app called SideQuest. And what that basically gives you is loads of apps and games which frankly are a blast and most of them are unofficial created by some independent programmers. Some of them are also available for the Quest Store but most of them are just some unofficial games and apps like Sword Art Online and chances are most of you are familiar with this anime but thanks to these VR headsets we are able to experience something very similar and even if it's not a complete game so far it's frankly super awesome. Now to anyone who is new to the VR world, I would not advise you to spend more than 30 minutes at a time inside there since it's very easy to feel dizzy and motion sick, but the good news is at least you won't get a chance to experience that as often as you might think because this headset can run for about 2 hours before its battery completely dies and unfortunately the charging speed caps at 18 watts so it will take you a solid few hours before you can start chopping enemies again. The Mixed Reality mode gives you the opportunity to do so much more compared to the previous Quest 2. The black and white cameras are replaced with full colored ones and while the image quality feels like you had a little bit too much alcohol at your family gathering, you can still read from a book or even check your smartphone and PC. You just need a lot of natural light coming into your house all the time because even if you have artificial lighting inside, it's just a little bit grainy and it's not such a good experience overall. And man, this picture even warps, it's like I've ingested some hallucinogenic shrooms. <laughs> Jokes aside though, you can do a lot in the mixed reality mode, including playing some fun games like whatever this blob shooter is. This and one other game that were pre-installed already on the Quest 3 showcase what you can do in mixed reality. Like, it's super cool, it's something new that I haven't experienced, uh, even though I've already had a VR headset. And while these two games here look good and you can see how much effort they have put inside of them, there is a lot of room for improvement and I'm looking forward to seeing what are they gonna make out of it in the future. For now it looks very promising. So there you have it guys, this concludes my review for today. I think that the Quest 3 is an amazing device and a huge upgrade from the Quest 2 from the previous years. And if you don't want to splurge $3,500 on something like the Apple Vision Pro, then this is a great alternative, has more games on it, and overall, an awesome device. I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful one. Talk to you next time.